Bouncer 1.1 Update Bouncer has been updated, and it now works with After Effects CC 2019's new JavaScript expression engine. This update is also compatible with previous versions of After Effects, so you should have no problem upgrading. Other changes include a smaller interface. We've heard your suggestions, and we've made the logo smaller and the interface more compact to take up less space on your already crowded screens. We added a floor checkbox to the overshoot controller. You can turn this on to mimic a bounce back expression in the overshoot controller. It's not the same as the bounce back expression and may not be as realistic. It was a feature that I had in my original script and I took it out when I put in the true bounce back expression. However, I missed it and decided to put it back in. One issue that some users have brought up is that the expression doesn't work with eased keyframes, and I wanted to briefly explain this. The expression uses the velocity at time function to generate the bounce. Using eased keyframes doesn't give the expression much to work with. In this example, you can see that even when it eases to a stop, it still has a tiny bit of bounce. This isn't a bug, it's just the way the expression works. Just to recap, Bouncer 1.1 now works with the latest version of After Effects, has a more compact interface, with a new overshoot floor feature. We hope you find this update useful and easy to use.